Now let's talk about master detail. I would like to have a small grid at the bottom of the screen that will show me the order details of every order that I'm parked on on the grid on top. Let's see how we do it. So first, we'll go ahead and add a new controller. We'll call that controller show order details. Okay, just like we've done before, we'll select the entities that we want. Models dot order detail, and we'll set it to be the form property of this controller. Okay, next we'll go over to design the UI. We'll drop a grid over here, dock it, and use the column wizard to select the columns that we would like to see, which are all the columns at this point. Okay? I would like to prevent the user from making any changes to the order ID. So I'll set that as read only. Okay, and I think we're done with the design of the UI. Now let's take care of the binding. The show orders detail, okay, is run with this run method. And now we need to bind it to only show us orders that belong to, or the details that belong to a specific order. So let's do that. Let's add a parameter called order ID. And when we run the test, we want to first clear the filter and then add to that filter order details dot order ID is equal to order ID. Okay. So we're writing a filter just like you would write it anywhere else. Last thing I want to do here is I want to set the order ID. So by default, it will have the values it was received as a parameter. So now we have a very small, simple show order details screen. And all we need to do now is to connect it to the original show orders. Let's see how we do that. If you remember, initially we docked the grid. Now we can undock it and better design it. We can resize it to only take half the screen. Then we'll go and select the sub form control and drop it on our grid. On our form. Now we need to go to the code behind to do the wiring between the subform over here and the show order details that we've created. Let's do that. So we need the show order details task or controller. So we say new show order details. And we'll tell the subform that its controller is show order details. And it's called by saying show order details dot run and sending it the controllers dot orders dot order ID. So we set the subform to be associated with the show order details members that we set over here, and we told it that whenever it's run, use this method. Let's see how it's working. And we see now that we have the grid at the bottom with the specific order details that we need. Okay, and we can scroll here, operate up and down, and go back up to see the values that we have. 